You know, at the outset of our nation, it was the character of George Washington, our first president, that defined the presidency. He believed power was limited, not absolute. And that power always resides with the people, always. Now, over 200 years later, today's Supreme Court decision, once again, it will depend on the character of the men and women who hold that presidency that are going to define the limits of the power of the presidency, because the law will no longer do it. I know I will respect the limits of the presidential powers I have for three and a half years, but any president, including Donald Trump, will now be free to ignore the law. I concur with Justice Sotomayor's dissent today. She, here's what she said. She said, in every use of official power, the president is now a king above the law. With fear for our democracy, I dissent, end of quote. So should the American people dissent. I dissent. May God bless you all. May God help preserve our democracy. Thank you. Mr. Thank President, Mr. President, will you drop out of the race? Why do the Democrats beat Trump? What makes you so confident you should be the president? What advice would you give to this president? 